Akaru versus yeah. Blue and Loser Semis. Yeah. Loser Semis. So this is still two out of three. Uh, guys, if you don't know where we are, yeah. why we're here, this is the Break Weekly, number 324. Wow. That's a lot of them. That's that's a lot that's a lot of weeklies, guys. That's like and to think six that's and a half six years. Oh yeah, we have a little Greninja plushie off screen right over there. Um, oh it is off screen. I couldn't tell. Uh, my name is again, this is for Guzo. You can follow us that's on cool. Twitter Twitter's at off. Cody underscore again or underscore monkey paw. Underscore monkey paw, that's very important. And uh, guys, we do these every Tuesday night, Smash Brothers and Mortal Kombat X. So if you can guys Come out. Please, yeah, come out. We're in the middle of Dunellen, New Jersey, We're right across from that train station. Um, we start at 7 o'clock with Smash Brothers every week. And if you guys c please can donate to Jackson at 8 Way Run, uh, he, he would much appreciate it. All right, guys, here we are in game one between Blue and Hakaru. Two teammates, both Leap of Faith. Blue was being the uh, more recent Leap of Faith member, but definitely not a newcomer to Smash by me any means. Uh, Sonic Main. I mean, obviously, he's blue, yes. so he's got to be Sonic. Uh, earlier, he was playing Mewtwo to level up his Mewtwo, but now, since he's in Ludum Luda Semis against his teammate, yeah. he's got to go all and out. Yeah, and from what, we, uh, from what the chat was telling us, he's actually been practicing Mewtwo. Like, he's not been using Sonic in the past, like, two weeks. Yeah, so. But, I mean, when you play your main, it, it, it's like a glove. It just goes yeah. on. It just, you, you put no thought into it. Just do it. Yeah. Like, Shia LaBeouf, guys. Just do it. And look at it, he, you can, it doesn't look like he hasn't been playing Sonic for two weeks yeah. now. He's very yeah, on yeah. point with his runaways, with his punishes. Yeah, he does not seem rusty at all. Mm -hmm. But Hacker is a very strong Mario. Uh, that down air is actually really good. Like, it's, it's better than being a down B now, it's just a down air. It has slightly different properties than being a special move. Yeah. I do not think there was a footstool at the end because I saw him still yeah, that, helpless. It was, yeah, it wasn't, he was, it wasn't a footstool. He wasn't tumbling like from a footstool. He was still unhelpless. Uh, if you if you want to go check and prove me wrong, maybe you can go check out the video at Jackson Rod's uh, channel on YouTube. Or you can all ask of the our Mubot. matches. Yeah, all of our matches are uploaded to YouTube immediately. Oh, very nice. Uh, on the platform, getting that up here. Good punish on the dash. Ooh, oh, missed the board there. Did not get the dunk. Oh, very nice up tilt actually. Very quick thinking on that up tilt. And Hakuru is just—he's having a little trouble trying to get in. Oh, very oh. nice with the back air actually though. Yeah, it seems like ha that's what Hack's wanting to do, just go for the mm -hmm. dunk. But it's very hard against Sonic, especially Blue, who is the most patient Sonic I've ever seen. That he just kind of waits for you. Like, look at him, he always ba he's always backing away, really. And he waits for you like that. Oh, up to not going to kill not on the platform, not yet. yet. That means he didn't follow up with the, with the up air. Well, because he just thought it was going to kill, and he didn't want to risk it, especially if it... Uh, if it missed and somehow he got nared, it's because uh, Mario's nair is really good. If he didn't want to risk it, uh, I've, that's what I'm thinking. But at least Hacker got the uh, up smash kill. Oh, Ooh. just jumps into the forward smash, barely killing. With all of Hacker's DI working against him. Oh, barely getting that back air. It didn't even look like it hit. The down air. Oh. <laughs> the, jabs. the jabs. They should have continued that. That's a that's a loaded question, Duckman. I'll go into that after the match. Um, let's see here. All right, they're still even percent. Hakuru being a little more patient now, but does get punished for that down air. Despite how little recovery it is upon landing, it's still there's still a tiny gap, especially for Sonic. Yeah. For Sonic, that's a big enough gap to get something in there. Look at Blue, his spacing and his turn turnarounds are just on point. He just knows exactly where to run and where to be to punish you. It's it's magnificent, really. Ooh. There we go. Oh, try oh. to get that bear. A little slow on that. And Haku did have enough DI to the side to dodge it. Oh, good. Good pivot grab. Very smooth. Oh, that, that there saved him, really. Uh, 
Back air now, not going to kill. Nope. Going for the back air? Nope. Nope. Missed the spring. Yeah, I think, yeah, that would have gimped. Uh, yeah, would have gimped. He really. used his jump, so yeah. definitely would have gimped. Not really gimped, but just killed him. At 87%, I don't know if you can call it a gimp. <laughs> oh! Very smart by Blue to just run away and not get hit by any follow-ups. That's what I like about Sonic's up B. It just gets away from everything. Yeah. Oh, very oh. nice. Back throw. On the spot dodge, getting that grab. Back air? I was yeah. expecting him to go for the yeah, back air. Yeah, I'm expecting back airs. Oh, try to punish That does kill up. very early. You really can't punish Sonic's smash attacks. They have very little recovery afterwards that you can't punish them. Down smash, I think you can punish more than any of others. Yeah. But not his up yeah. smash. Oh, very nice by Blue. And I feel like his up smash does have a little more. Oh, like very it's nice hard, jab. It's hard to hit out of that. Yeah. Ooh. Hakuru trying to do the Luigi. Oh, oh gets an up smash. That very will take good. it. Hakuru up game one despite uh, Blue's patience. Can't beat the raw power of an up smash. Um, personally, like personally, who I want is I really want Bayonetta in the game. I yeah, just love Bayonetta. Yeah, Bayonetta is has and a, she's ba very, has a very high chance of getting in. She's also very plausible. Like, and Nintendo, from what I heard, she was actually supposed to be, but I don't know if she was supposed to be. I never heard that. Have you seen how Zero Suit compared to Bayonetta? Yeah, but that's that's it's, it's not like they base Zero Suit off of Bayonetta or Bayonetta no, no, no. off of Zero Suit. But she always had that suit either. It's not like they based it off of her. From what I understood, it was they wanted Bayonetta in, but they felt like it was way too mature. So they ended up replacing it with Zero Suit. Zero Suit is already mature enough that like it, it doesn't teen. matter if Bayonetta. She, it's ba Bayonetta. Uh, Zero Suit is not teen. That is definitely not teen wearing that suit. Or whatever. And as for me, I've always wanted to see Amaterasu from Okami, which actually yeah, but Am Am Amaterasu. That's the uh, well, yeah, Capcom is it. But that's another, that's more obscure than other ones. And Bayonetta is only, Bayonetta 2 only exists because of Nintendo. That's another thing. That is but uh, Amaterasu would be great from uh, and if Okami. Not, and if not, I would also say Wolf Link. Just throw so, just something out there. Wolf Link. Bros. Wolf Link? Yeah. Uh, no. I don't, Wolf Link isn't relevant anymore. I mean, it's just, it was just one game. And At least Toon Link had three games, and Young Link had one, two, well, two. No, two or three. Technically two. Yeah. Uh, but they could absolutely add Bayonetta in. Yeah. It, it's no trouble about the, the maturity. They just got to tone it down. They just got to basically do what they did with Zero Suit and not have the uh, nakedness of Bayonetta. They could very easily, when she goes naked in her moves, they can just like have a flash or something instead. Or just not do it at all. Well, she has to. Her moves involve using her hair, which is her clothes. <laughs> but then they cha I thought that was in the first Bayonetta. No, that's the second one as well. That's, 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 she's a witch. That's how she uses her powers. All right, we'll see. <laughs> Anyways, off of the character discussion, into the match. And we're, we still we very missed, even. Yeah, we still missed the first stock, but now it's a fairly even match. Oh, very nice grab. Blue with a slight lead right now and the stage presence. Oh, very nicely timed forward smash. Forward smash just hits you off stage. Yeah, Blue with a very solid lead at the moment. Uh -huh. Oh, then whiff on a grab. That, that could have been punished, absolutely. Ooh. I'm surprised that class. You think the forward smash would still have uh, priority over that? Oh, trying to read a spot dodge, but only got the uh, jump instead. Oop. Good dash. Oh, he's hunting. Uh, what's the edge guard? No. Oh, oh, very nice down smash. Was not expecting that. Oh, yeah. Down. Usually you just do a forward smash. I think he was trying to do it just in case there was a roll somewhere or other. Yeah, either a roll or using it as a mix up, expecting the forward smash. Yeah. But Sonic's down smash is just like his worst move in his whole move set. Yeah, but I also feel like it does like space out characters that are like applying way too much pressure. Yeah. I'm not saying it's a bad move. I'm just saying it's the worst move out of his whole move set, which is saying something since his whole move set is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we are, game three. This is the last game between these two because this is only loser semis between these two players.
the winner of this will have to fight their teammate, Nakat, in the Losers Finals, guys. Oh, very nice with that dash attack, hitting slightly beneath him. Right, I'm going to hop off commentary because I am starving. You're starving? All right. No I'm slowly man. dying of <laughs> hunger. All right, that's our point about this place. You guys, why reason you should come? When you lose, you can eat away your feelings. With well, just, just wait, wait, wait until the end of the match before you get off. Oh, come on. Might as well finish the match. I might as well finish. Might as well finish. I'll stick, I'll stick it out. I'll stick out for the battle. Oh, here we go. Oh, the back Ooh. here. Good up air. I'm staying for the battle of the 90s. Look at that. The way he does his turnaround forward tilts, those pivots, it's just so on point, really. Look at that spacing. He, you can see how much thought that Blue puts into his spacing. I don't know how pixel perfect he thinks of it, but it's just... It's, it is really impressive. It is. And the way that he'll just stand there, like, I can't stand. I have to, like, you jump, have like, do short hops while I'm waiting, or, like, tur like do just, like, the quick turn yeah, around like or dash dancing. I just can't stand there. It, it amazes me that Blue can just stand yeah. there and look at him with those big eyes. Just, like, get over here. I, I love, the, I love the, uh, the joke where Sonic's eyes are actually goggles. Um, that... <laughs> uh, the white part, and then his eyes are actually just the black pupils. <laughs> I love that's hilarious. Because yeah, I, mean, I, I see comics <laughs> of that. It's like, oh, just, just they're actually goggles, and there's yeah. just eyes just Because there. if we look at it, there's, there's no separation between his two eyes in the middle. It's hilarious. Oh, my God. So it looks like it's basically one big eye with two pupils. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, I hate this waiting. Look at that spin, spin charge. That's down B. It's very hard to tell the difference between down B and side B for me. It, it, That's from, a, from what I understand, B. one is better for shield poking, one's just better for approaching. Yes. Oh, back throw is going to kill on the edge of the stage, even with very little rage. I'm going to I'm gonna try and guess which one it is each time. I think that was side B. Spin dash. I think spin charge has more, like, uh, color around it. I'm surprised he didn't get hit. He literally went through that dash attack. As he recovers. Ooh, oh, good, good punish. Just winds up in front of him. It's like... <laughs> Come on, bro. Like something you see in a movie when uh, like they're just kind of punching and he's just winding up in slow motion. It's like, oh. They don't have to make Shovel Knight 3D. They can leave him 2D. I mean, Game & Watch is 2D. Yeah, technically. I mean that, yeah. And I feel like he is going to get in this game because of the whole Shovel Knight. Oh, game there we go. Forward Smash is going to take it over yep. Hakaru. All right, that was losers semis. Now we're gonna have Nakat versus Blue and losers finals, guys.